Hello YouTube, welcome to another video tutorial. We're still going to be talking about the Linux module programming. And in this tutorial, we're going to focus on passing parameters to the module. And to do that simply, what you need to do first of all is include a header file that we need. And this, this will allow us to have access to the functionality to include and start using a parameter from the console. Step two is simply to declare a variable that will hold the value passed to this module. So we created a variable. Okay, step three is simply to register the variable that you just created. And the general syntax for registering a variable is the name of the variable, the data type, and permissions. Permissions can be any one of the following, or it can be a combination of the followings by using the XOR command. And uh, this is the general beginning of the permission. R stands for reading, R W stands for writing, and X stands for execution. USR stands for user, and GRP stands for group. So let's go ahead and register, and we're going to say a module parameter. It's going to be the name of our variable. It's an integer type, and we're going to say S I R U S R combined with S I R. W, I'm sorry. So we're going to say this variable is going to be able to be read and written to. Okay, now, so we just basically have to compile the module. First of all, you want to become super user and tell your password. And of course, the make file looks like this. This is the make file. Go ahead and type make and start to building. So there's a simple problem here. I'm, I'm calling a function called display and I haven't defined it yet. So let's just go ahead and define it by saying display. And it's just going to display the value of So now let's install the module that we just compiled into the kernel. And now we have to pass the value that we want. But first, we have to enter the name of the variable and an equal sign. Let's give it a value of you know, some random value. Press enter. Now, if you type D message, you see that it successfully did pass it the value. And now go ahead and remove the module. And everything did. Alternatively, we can use arrays to hold the values that we want. So now we've changed everything to an, an array and we've declared, uh, we're using a different syntax, module parameter array, the name of the array, the data type. And this is to hold the number of parameters. Here I can easily add three, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, uh, I'm not concerned about the number passed. And as well, there's also um, the permissions so simply let's change over here so this is going to be one two okay now let's go back to console and compile okay so now let's go ahead and rebuild by saying make everything gets uh, executed successfully and now let's insert the module into the kernel by saying insert mod hello.ko and the name of the parameter again. And this time, enter some values with a comma, another value, and let's say 190. Press enter. Now to display those messages, we just do that. And it successfully uh, entered those values. This was from a previous run. Okay. And now when you're done, go ahead and remove the module again. Below that KL the message it was successfully removed okay well that's going to do for this tutorial please as always rate this video and subscribe and leave a comment below thank you